Hello everyone and welcome to VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So first off, yes, we are making some changes to this studio and I'm pretty excited about it, but I'm also excited about today's topic, which is the latest update to Live Call Connect. Now this feature allows you to bring in remote calls from sources like uh, Microsoft Teams and now has improved integration with Zoom, which is what I'd like to show off today. An awesome way to integrate remote callers as if they were sitting in the room right there with you. Super easy to use, super easy to control. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I'm on my TriCaster interface. I'm just playing back a clip in my DDR, and I'll show you why here in a second. Uh, so what we need to do uh, in order to get to Live Call Connect, uh, when we have uh, two monitors plugged in, we'll go to Workspaces, Load Default. By default, it should just go automatically to App Desktop, but if not, that's how you would do that. Click on that. And now let's move over to our secondary monitor and take a look in here. All right, so this is the um, App Desktop for Live Call Connect, and essentially what we need to do from here, I'm going to show you how to bring in Zoom calls. So we'll go ahead and click on Zoom here at the bottom. And then we'll get this pop up, just making sure that we allow these different permissions. Okay, and there's two ways that we can do this. Uh, we can either uh, start a meeting and then uh, give the different information to our callers coming in. Uh, so when you do that, you just need to make sure that you uh, click enable microphone and enable your camera so that you're getting the feed coming from your TriCaster back to your callers. Uh, and then you can also have an option here to mute the participants uh, when they show up and then you can you know, manually do that by yourself. Okay, but let's go ahead and I already have a call set up for today's example. So I'm gonna click on join a meeting here and then I'm just gonna grab the information. Normally, I'm typing this in manually here, right? And then five, zero, nine. Cool, and same thing, just make sure that you enable your microphone and enable your camera to bring in that feed back to your callers click on join let it connect here and boom so now you are in this call all right so i have my ai friends here talking to themselves i'm going to go ahead and make this stay as participant now you can always say if you want to mute your video you could do that for example click on the video button or mute your audio as well, but I'm gonna say join with my computer audio like so, but you can mute it. And if you wanted to add some other people, you can go through here and uh, copy the invite link or hit invite like this and that information shows up over on my other monitor to where you can uh, email it to somebody uh, or you can copy the invites or just tell them the numbers like I have here, okay? So let's go ahead and change that around. So we got our different callers coming in uh, and they have audio coming into me. So let's go ahead and start bringing in these calls into our TriCaster production. Okay, so uh, over back on my main interface, I'm gonna go to input number one and click on this gear icon. And from here to find those sources, you'll just click on the source dropdown, go to local, and then you'll go to Zoom. And what's super cool here is you'll see that these callers are already coming in with their names attached, which is awesome, okay? So uh, for example, let's go ahead and bring in our first caller. Well, the first caller you see here, that's at the uh, TriCaster, which is my feed going into Zoom, so we don't wanna do that. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in our caller number two, and his name is Robert Paulson. All right, cool, he's coming in here, looking good. All right, now let's go to input number two, and we'll just do the same for all of these inputs. So you can see on this drop-down list, you can bring in a whole bunch of Zoom callers. All right, uh, let's go into input number three, and we'll do the same thing. All right, bring in David Warner. And last one here to zoom and bring in Alex. Boom. 
All right, so now they are all talking to each other. All right, so now let's go over to the audio mixer side. Oh, actually, before I do that, let me just mention, you're going to be bringing in the highest resolution that the Zoom account that you are, are talking to will allow to bring in. So if you can send out a 1080 signal with that Zoom account, it'll bring in to your TriCaster in that as well. So that is dependent on the different Zoom profile that you have. Okay, now from here, let's go to the audio mixer side. So now you'll see down here at the bottom, let me go ahead and unmute these, is that each individual caller coming in is coming in through their respective inputs. All right, so input number three, he's talking, so that one's going to come in. And then when another uh, person sp starts speaking, that will bring in under their uh, inputs as well. So once they start talking, there we go. All right, so Robert Paulson, he's talking now. So now they're going back and forth, et cetera. And then that way you can go through and manually change these, like if their uh, audio is a little hot, uh, et cetera. Um, or you can go through, let me just mute these. Uh, if you just want to make it just a regular uh, old audio coming through uh, with everybody, you can always, on the app side of things, this will allow for all of the sources coming through uh, on one channel. So once they start talking again come on my ai friends you can do it there you go so you'll see that those start to come through uh on this way as well so but uh, honestly it's probably better to go through on these different inputs and uh, adjust them manually so you can have it going to the different feeds all right and now that they're in here we can start to play around with these and make a you know uh, uh start making like a quad box for example so if i go say grab that one and say input one, two, three, four, and then let's go ahead and bring that live. Boom, now I have my, uh, my Zoom callers coming in, boom, directly into my production, as if they were sitting there right in the room, either via an SDI feed or an NDI feed, but this is all coming over Live Call Connect and through Zoom, which is awesome, okay? So that's a simple way of bringing everybody into your shows. Uh, highly recommend checking this out. Just update your TriCaster if you're using Live Call Connect to uh, get some of these awesome goodies for you and play around with it and have some fun. There you have it, the newest updates to Live Call Connect. Shout out to Zoom for helping making this even easier to use with TriCaster, so make sure you update your existing Live Call Connect simply by doing the most recent update to your TriCaster. And for more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash official. And for formalized VizRT product training, sign up for Viz University available at vizrt.com slash community slash viz dash university. And you can find more information about VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner, or you can check out our website, vizrt.com. And if you're posting your work using VizRT products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT or TriCaster. I see all of those posts and love what you're working on. So keep up the good work. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.